Yo, what is going on, guys? It's Cryptic TMG, and I'm back with a back. Jeez. Hey, coat is looking crazy, bro. Wow, Watkins again. Look at the, just look at the graphics, lads. We're going to be getting the top laser scans. That's Indianapolis. Um, that's going to be a great circuit for racing, I think. I, I can only just imagine, man. I can only just imagine what it's going to be like racing around these tracks. It's been a long time coming. I haven't driven these tracks, most of these, probably since Project Cars. Um, let's go back. 30th of June, not too long. I actually thought that we... They would have given us more of a warning, you know, but they're going to drop it pretty soon. That's like, what, like maybe 14, 15 days time, two weeks. So that's not bad, man. It's definitely something that was needed. Let's go back and have a look. Um, so We already know straight away this is Kota. Quite a tight and twisty section. The car's going to have to have a, a decent balance around here. Um, what will be interesting as well is the implementation of the bumps. ATC normally does a pretty good job of getting the track surface pretty spot on. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see if it's a really bumpy track like what we do see in real life, especially if you watch the, the F1 last season. The cars were pretty... <laughs> they struggled quite a bit on the bumps. There was a lot of bumps in this track um, last season. So let's see if that's been implemented into the game. Obviously, top laser scans with ACC as per usual, you would expect... It will be quite a bumpy surface. Again, as well, talking about the surface. Um, in America, I'm pretty sure they use a different type of tarmac compared to what we use in Europe. So I'll be interested to see whether that gives us a lot more grip or a lot less grip. If you, for instance, on Suzuka, purposefully, they made Suzuka a low grip surface on the game, which is why you kind of, it's pretty easy to get the car sliding at Suzuka. Um, so let's, let's see, man. Watkins Glen. That's the exit of turn one as you come out the pit lane for Watkins Glen. Looks amazing. I wonder if, as we see on the outside here, I know on iRacing you can run pretty wide over this curb without getting the invalidation. Um, I'm not too sure whether ACC will allow the same thing. I think the threshold for corner cuts may be a little bit tighter. Um, the threshold for corner cuts around Kota. I'm thinking that might end up being a little bit like Mizano, maybe. But how good does that look, man? How good does that look? An indie. Wow. Um, this is going to, I think this is going to be a, a fan favorite, honestly. Um, I just feel like this car, this, this, this car, this track will produce some very, very good racing. Um, I can see it being a track that suits a multiple amount of cars. Because there isn't any, apart from the last little chicane at the end, there's no real, you know, really difficult corners. It's quite an easy track to, to master. So it's going to be pretty close. Um, hopefully the BOP is done very well. Although I'm expecting the Honda NSX to be extremely strong because it's pretty strong in the American Challenge. Again, just looking at Watkins, man, it just looks insane. <laughs> it looks insane. This is such a good track as well. Um, for me personally, I could see the Porsche probably reigning supreme round here, just with the corner speed. There's a lot of sort of third, second, third, fourth gear corners on this track. So I feel like the Porsche, the corner speed that it's able to carry, unless it gets an extremely poor BOP, I think the Porsche is going to be super, super strong around here. Man, yeah, this was so needed. For me, a game lives and dies by the amount of tracks and content it's able to, you know, put up. I, I believe you can add as many cars as you want, but if you don't have a lot of tracks, it can get stale. And I'm not going to lie, I started getting maybe a little bit bored. Um, But, hey man, this is definitely going to refresh the whole ACC scene. Just imagine LFM races now with new tracks, new content, everyone joining new leagues again. Um new tracks and whatnot i think it is going to be a hell of a time probably for the next four or five months i think people are going to be very very happy man we've got three new tracks to run endurance races on i'll be interested to see if we get any more uh american tracks um i thought we may maybe may i thought we maybe would get sebring uh, or road america but you know i'm not complaining mate let's look at that look at that 12-hour races around Kota. 
And you can see all these lights in the background. Damn. Damn. I actually can't wait. Two weeks, man. Two weeks. Two weeks. I'm actually, I'm actually going to go on race room. And I want to drive some of these circuits, man. I'm going to have a go in these circuits and see what we can expect to see. And how the racing might play out and which cars may dominate. But very, very, very happy with that. 30th of June this month, I'm sure it won't be too expensive. You know, take my money, I'll be paying. That's all I've got to say, all right? Um, definitely going to be doing some setup videos as well. But anyway, let's jump over to some of the tracks on Race Room and we can sort of get an inkling on how these tracks might react to whichever car on ACC. Let's go. So here we are on the Watkins Glen um, on Race Room. I don't know why I actually thought that Race Room had a uh, circuit of the Americas, but it doesn't. So maybe I'll jump on AC, get a mod and um, check out Circuit of the Americas afterwards. But let's have a look at Watkins Glen, just the circuit itself and then see what we can expect for ACC. My last memories of this track pretty much were on Project Cars, probably even on PlayStation 4. It was probably the last time I drove this track. But the elevation changes, it's just going to be insane. So many different sections of this track, but I, I can realistically, I can see the Porsche being an absolute beast around here. a nice flowing track to drive man I can imagine endurance races are gonna be crazy I just judging by some of these corners I can really see the Porsche excelling here with this insane acceleration and corner speed tighter than I remember. It's going to be interesting as well to see what the, you know, the modern laser scan will look like. And are we going to get this big runoff that doesn't invalidate your laps at turn one or on the exit of turn one. Let's go for a proper lap before we check out the next circuit, which will be Indianapolis. This is still a very underrated game as well, to be honest. track is so fun to drive. I can only imagine how good this would be now. Uh oh, I broke too late. I've broken well too late. great to finally have more American tracks on the game coming towards um, ACC. So that is a lap, a lap of Watkins Glen. Now let's switch over to Indianapolis and let's see what that track may have in store for us. 
So here we are at Indianapolis Road Course. This would be the exact layout we'll be getting in ACC on the 30th. Um, last time I drove this track was probably in like, I don't know, 2017, beginning of 2018 on Project Cars 2. Um, I haven't driven this track for ages. It's, it's a track that I've known forever because of obviously F1 and how infatuated I used to be with F1 games back in the day. But um, it was a different layout then. This layout is a little bit different and maybe might you know might induce better racing because it's a slow corner before the straight so it helps everyone get really tight together i believe this is going to be a very good racetrack for actual racing some circuits may not be the best actual layout but for actual racing i believe it might be one of the better better circuits on the game sort of like paul ricard a lot of people don't like paul ricard but on acc we tend to get very, very good races at Paul Ricard. So let's let's get stuck into this track. Man. You don't want to be getting a drive through around this track, that's for sure. I haven't driven you for so long. Oh, this track's so good, man. I don't even know where to break. That'll do. Oh, did I ever try it? No. Christ. I mean, it's one of the only things that's really lacking from race rooms you can't really feel the rear of the car whoa 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 as you as you come onto the bank the car really gets unsettled with the difference in elevation will that be a factor on ACC I don't know probably the amount of detail that them, them guys put into the game, don't be surprised. All right, breaking point. Yeah, I broke early, but I'd rather make the corner, you know? Christ. Oh my God. I'm overshooting corners everywhere. You guys are gonna have to let me off, man. I literally have not driven this track in, in years. Jesus Christ. How bumpy that section is is gonna be pretty interesting man. That slow corner is gonna be so important. Really just set up your run for the rest of the straight. Yeah man. This for sure is, is a fun track, man. I can see this being one of the favorites just because of the different lines you can take going into the uh, the last sector, setting up your runs, getting down, going down the straight, and you've got enough straight line to make a difference, man. So I believe this is going to be a good track for the, the pure racer. I'm not too sure what, what, what car this will favor, man. It's, it's very hard to know. Um, you're going to need a very good front end, and you're going to need... A car that you can just literally plant your foot down on traction because of these slow corners, man. But that being said, a bit of straight line speed might go a long way as well. So yeah, this might be a track where you've got 
maybe three or four cars insanely close but i'm expecting the, the nsx evo to be to have an in, insanely good bop all right we shall wait and see if, if that's the truth but i guess on the 30th we will find out so without further ado let's go to kota and that will be on ac i believe i've got a mod for kota so let's jump over to kota and see what we can expect from that track as well so here we are at the circuit of americas this was the final track that they had in the uh, trailer so let's see how this track is and again give us opinions on what we've what type of racing we feel like we're gonna get we're driving the amg not the evo the the original again this is another track that i haven't really driven since project cars man Oh, turn, God damn it. Also, I wonder what type of um, track surface we're going to get. Because I'm pretty sure in America they use a different, a different sort of tarmac to a lot of the surfaces that we get in Europe. I'm, I'm hoping that the track limits are a little bit <laughs> a little bit lenient around here a little bit like like Mazzano maybe Christ force feedback is pretty heavy Okay, so the, the braking seems to be a lot, a lot different to where my reference points kind of think. Just because I played this so much in F1. Oh Christ! My F1 reference points are well off. It definitely doesn't have the grip. <laughs> of an F1 car, obviously. Oh my god. Yeah, not, not a lot of grip, to be honest. Obviously, this is a mod. I haven't bothered, I haven't got any setups or anything. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, this is gonna be a fun track. This is gonna be one of those tracks where if you can put a quality lap together, it's gonna feel so good. Again, leave in the comment section below what, what car you think is gonna, you know, really reign supreme around a track like this. I can see the McLaren being pretty quick. I feel like cars are a little bit tail happy or a little bit loose on the rear. This may be a bit of a struggle. Definitely should have turned the force feedback down a bit. But nevertheless, coming towards the end of the lap.
face. I'm sure the grip will probably feel a lot different um, than ACC, but yeah, it just wasn't a lot of turning at all, really. But, um, that being said, I actually think this is going to be quite a challenge, man. Because obviously, with me me growing up playing F1, playing this track on F1 and on P cars, where you have an unrealistic amount of grip. Um, a lot of these corners in the first sector weren't really a challenge and the force feedback is not going to be the same as what you're going to get from ACC. You're going to feel the weight when you're going through the corners left to right. Sort of like Silverstone, but these corners, are, they're a little bit tighter than Silverstone. So, yeah, you're going to have to make sure the balance of your car is pretty much spot on to get everything from that section. But again, it's pretty tricky to know which cars will excel, actually, because you've got a bit of everything on this track. You've got insanely slow sections where you need the traction um you need to be able to balance the car on the brakes quite a bit because there are a few corners where you are braking and turning um you're going to need a decent amount of top speed um you're going to need braking power especially for turn one and um the the uh, corner after the long back straight and you know you're going to need a bit of nimbleness a car with a very nice front end so i would say maybe i think maybe the m4 could be pretty damn strong here man it's it's got nice balance it's very very easy to drive um i can see the m4 being decent um like i said before the mclaren very aero friendly i can see that being very good as well um and you know i still think the nsx is gonna have a particular role to play early on when the dfc drops maybe maybe if i'm right and it's like OP, they might patch it later, but I can see the NSX definitely um, being very strong because you, you kind of want to appeal to the American crowd as well. And for them, if they're watching GT Challenge America, what they're seeing is, you know, a very strong NSX. So that's probably what they're going to expect when they purchase this DLC. I'm pretty sure it's going to be paid content, which I have no problem with, man. This is exactly what ACC needed. It needs fresh input of tracks because i believe no matter how many cars you put into a game you're going to live and die by the amount of tracks and the amount of variation you have um on your on your specific platform which is why games like iRacing do so well and to be honest it's why it's why project cars lasted so long even though you know the physics the cars everything wasn't that great but there was just so much variation that it was it was from a driving aspect you could get bored because of the handling but you realistically you always going to have something to do because there was just so many tracks and now i feel like we're we're starting to get there a bit with acc um again if we're to get the asia pack in the future very very happy to get that um it'll be interesting to see if we get more american tracks or is that it um as you know we would have liked to see sebring um road america you know we would have liked to have those sort of tracks as well but listen beggars can't be choosers man we we just we, we're happy with what we're getting right now okay um but with that being said guys leave comments down in the section below tell me what cars you think and what tracks will be the dominant force and tell me what's your thoughts on the new dlc which will be dropping on the 30th of june but anyway guys it's crypto tmg like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and Peace.